it's a coin for sure. Oh, come on, cat bus. I'll let you grab it. Oh, dude, I'm so excited for you. Oh, I hope it's cat bus. Oh, it's a half dime. It's foreign. It's foreign for sure. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. Five cent, 1888. Here, do you have a spray? It's 100% foreign. That's awesome. It's Canadian. I can't tell, it's just black. It's 100% silver. It's super thin. It's so hard to read. Canadian. I think it's Canadian. 18, 1888. It looks like it says five cents. Yeah, it says Canada. Yeah, I know because I put that there. It's from the box that I got from my mother. Oh, you f <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, you got really excited there, didn't you? So pumped for you, man. <laughs> All right, it's literally been under three minutes since I pranked him with the Canadian half dime, and he says he has a small coin in the hole. I don't think it's silver, but it's tiny. I found a old umbrella top just now, but probably nothing compared to what he's got. So it was in that hole right there, it was beeping like 55-ish. Where is it? Popped it out. Oh, son of a fucking... I don't know if that might be a button. I don't know, man. It's a trying. Oh, it's a button. Oh. Dang it. Oh, that looks so much like a coin. Give you your little brush. Yep. It's a pretty, pretty little butt. Cause I was like, how can it be so small but not be silver? What is it? Chinese. It might be a coin with a hole in it. It could be. Mm, I don't know. I need to trade. Wipe that off and I'll see the button. Yeah, take a look. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's just a button. Looks like a rivet for a jean. I like just like, it looked like it had a reeded edge or something. The edge like special. That's why I thought it was a coin right now. Mm, sort of. Yep. Not bad. Ten seconds later, Kyle's got a button. Oh no. This is a neat little design. Kind of looks like it may have some. I can't tell. It might. Looks like some of shank two piece maybe? Or just fold over. Yeah. Pretty. Alright, well, we haven't had anything for a while, and I was walking, set my machine down for a second, looked down and saw something iron. I saw like this much of it. It's like, that looks interesting. Picked it up. My very first lock. It's like heart shaped too and everything. So I don't see any writing on it, but pretty awesome. I knew there had to be some out here. My first one, pretty pumped. Yeah. This is gonna be uh, Kyle's video. <laughs> it was reading like 58 to 63. It almost looks two cent size, but I don't know. I think it's too small for a large cent. Maybe it's foreign. Oh, it's huge. It's a token. A game token? No, good for, it's a trade token. From Bartlett. I'm sure it's from the 50s or something. 30s. Someone done did dirtied up with a nylon brush. Yep, yeah, that was me. I got a brush in my pocket. Alright, let's see if for the for the viewers. I got a brush. I have no idea what the heck that says. Humbrack Bartlett. It's only the second or third token I've Good for heard. drink. Good Ooh. for this is Drink, I'm cool, not what we expected though. No, definitely not. 
All right, well, I am finally on the board. Thank God. It took, I don't even know what time it was, probably an hour or two. Real small button. A little design, but it's in good shape. Shank's in perfect shape. It's got some kind of writing on it, but. Uh, get a picture of it. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Justin from Pinkpoint in the past here. Uh, second signal. Not sure what it is. Almost looks like a baby spur or something, or a gear. But it's cool. Haven't found something like this yet. Let's keep going. All right, well, just got a 47 48 signal, and I am praying to Jesus that. I might have just found gold plated or gold. It's pretty heavy, but man, that thing just came out of the ground like this. It's freaking gorgeous. Hey, got my first surface find of the day. A thimble, part of the thimble at least. Oh. Sorry. Not bad. Hey, there's Kyle and then his brother Adam from Pinpoint in the past. I just walked out here. And I found a clay marble. That's my first, oh my god my first one super excited about it oh my gosh this is it's a good sign oddly a bucket list for me but uh good start see adam you go back to the car oh you might be all right um we've been finding a lot of buttons and surface finds today um i saw this sticking out of the ground kind of like that and then i flipped it over much more ornate than the usual uh, oyster buttons we find on here so yeah, it's a lot bigger too. and it's huge yeah size of a quarter, a little bit bigger, so. All right, we've been out here a while, mostly surface finds and whatnot. Again. I found this glass little bulb, it's like a purple. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah. Neat. And then I just popped, this was on the surface. Two piece button. Show the design. I'll clean it up when I get home. There's something on it. Pretty cool. But it's, the fact that it's intact is pretty awesome. If you're in the lead. Okay, uh, Justin here, about to leave. Dug a signal, I don't know why, it was high 40s, but it is beautiful. I don't know how well you can see it, but no clue what it is. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it is gorgeous, definitely one of my favorite finds at this location on why I won't focus. I'm sure by the time I post it I'll know what it is. Maybe back at it the next morning after coming out with uh, Kyle and Adam. My first signals. A little, uh, little shank button. I'm excited to see if there's any writing back there. But cool. Let's keep it going. Alright, well here's our wrap up for the day. Uh, there's that clay marble. Uh, I'm assuming that's some kind of brooch. Um, thimble, 22 short, a little piece of brass, something from a lantern, uh, some pot, uh, clay pipes. I'm just calling like grommets or something for camping. Got a, looks like a gear for something. And then this, I don't know what this is. It's too heavy to be wood or bone, but it might, I mean, the antler's technically bone, but I think it's either antler or, I don't think it'd be ivory, but it's, I don't know what it is, but here's Adam's finds. All right, today was my first day in attack team. So I had all surface finds, only thing I found below the ground was junk. So I found a four hole button, a clay marble, part of a clay pipe yeah clay marble is first time out 
Most of my finds today were surface finds as well. I had that glass piece, a bunch of the white buttons. This one's really cool. It's like the size of a quarter. Pipe stem pieces, piece of neat pottery. Um, oh, there's that musket ball I found. Two piece button. It's got some sort of design on it, but I'll look at it more later. But surprisingly intact. Little four piece metal button. Uh, rim fire round, probably some sort of 22 shotgun stamp. So, no coins or anything super fancy, but a lot of really solid period relics. So, on to the next one.